I'm here with Ali. Hi. You know, people have been asking me so much about you. Really? Yeah, they're like, do you know Alex? Because I took a photo with you last year. Uh -huh. We're besties, you guys didn't know that. Uh -huh. Well, tell us about what happened. I just had a surgery and it was horrible, oh but like when I was in the hospital, like all like, drugged up mm -hmm. on whatever they gave me, it was like fun times. When I was leaving the hospital, I was like banging on the car door, like, I don't want to leave. Let really? me go. Yeah. Do you remember? I don't remember it now. <laughs> We're going to get a little bit um, deep. Oh deep, shoot, deep. really? Yeah. Girl. I know I've been researching about you and the first thing it says is you were the first non-Asian slash black woman in a K-pop group. What do you feel about that title? The funny thing is yeah. before I debuted, I knew that that was a first, but I didn't really process like that it was going to be viewed as just that. Like I kind of yeah. saw it being like just I was like another member of the group. Like oh. I didn't expect it to be like the whole like the mm. black idol like, yeah, title. Yeah. Right. I didn't realize it was going to be like that. But then once it was, I feel really good about it because oh. I feel like the reason I never thought I could be in K-pop is because mm -hmm. I never saw somebody like me in K-pop. Mm. So if I had a role model, you know, then I probably would have pursued it harder yeah. and like actually felt like it was more than a dream. So it feels good to know that like, you know, other black girls like me who just love K-pop and get made fun of all the time, you know, they for like you. Can, you. Yeah, like wow. they could have someone to look up to. If I Google you, everyone wants to know Alex's ethnicity. Black, okay. um, Swedish, and Hungarian. My mom's from Sweden and then whenever I say that, people are like, okay, so your dad is Swedish because your mom is black. I'm like, there are black people in Sweden. I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh. No, my mom is Swedish. She's okay. Swedish and Hungarian and black. Okay. My dad is white and white and white. <laughs> so I guess you don't have any Asian blood in you because some people thought you were half Korean. No, I have no Asian blood in me. And that's actually when I got scouted. Mm -hmm. I was like thinking like they think I'm part Asian. So yeah. like I clarified, I was like, I was like, I'm not Asian. He was like, yeah, I see I that. I was like, oh, okay, shoot. Okay, fell <laughs> <laughs> for it. How did you first get even into like the group? How did you get casted? Okay, so I was in LA and mm -hmm. I was songwriting and Ooh. I've been doing that like professionally for like forever, like since mm -hmm. I was a teenager. I moved to New York, moved to LA, and then out here I was just kind of writing in a bunch of different sessions. Long story short, I end up in a K-pop song camp. Ooh, okay. Well, there was a, a K-pop song camp going mm -hmm. on in the studio and I didn't realize that that's where I was going. I thought it was just like another session. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up impressing the A&R from Rania. It kind of just like took memory of me and then ran into me again and was like, do you consider joining a K-pop group? Wow. And I was like, what? But I didn't let on because I was a writer, so I wanted to look professional. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, like I could be like a K-pop songwriter. So I wasn't yeah. like, I'm a fan girl! <laughs> but like inside, I was like, oh shoot. Let me in! <laughs> so then after I got discovered, basically, mm -hmm. I was in Korea less than two weeks after that. Yeah, so I told my parents, mm -hmm. like, guess what? I'm going to Korea. I'm going to be in K-pop. And they were like, Alex, if it's a scam, something terrible is going to happen to you. I was wow. like, no, it's not. It's legit. They're like, how do you know it's legit? Mm -hmm. I was like, just trust me. I'm going. Oh, they weren't strict? No, like, my, they know they can't, like, tell me anything because, wow. like, since I was, like, a teenager, like, I moved to New York by myself and then I moved to wow. L.A. Okay, so you're, like, a free bird. Free spirit. Yeah. Yellow. Like, could you eat Korean food when you first got there? When I first got there, I was, like, obsessed with Korean food. What? The first meal I had, I had bulgogi. Then I had bulgogi jungle. That is, like, bulgogi jungle. my favorite. Like, I don't eat meat anymore. Mm -hmm. If there was one thing, I would I break like, my vegetarian. <laughs> Kimchi. Yeah. Damn. I ate so much kimchi. They were laughing. They were calling me the kimchi queen. How did you like communicate with the girls and like your company? Back then it was like I knew no Korean when mm -hmm. I first got there. So I was like hustling, trying with everything within me to like learn as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And then one girl in the group was actually good at English. Oh, okay. So she would help me out all the time. Mm -hmm. And I thank her so much for that because I didn't have a translator and I didn't know what was going on. Half what? The time. Why didn't they put you a translator? Come back. They. Oh that first like demonstrate comeback i've never been so lost in my mm -hmm. life like i never knew where we were going what we were doing what was happening i was always like wait what what didn't you feel lost didn't they see that in you she was trying to help me okay like she was trying to help me but i kind of felt you don't want to be needy you know what i mean like mm -hmm. you don't want to be like the victim yeah, like, you don't yeah, want to yeah. be the one who's like oh we all feel so bad for alex so like mm -hmm. as much as she was helping me out she's an idol with her own problems you know what i mean mm -hmm. like it's a stressful life so for me to feel like I was like mm. her other thing she had to worry about. Like yeah. I didn't want to be a burden. Wow. I tried my best to like just keep that to a minimum, yeah. not really ask for too much help. Okay, and it, what, is she still in the group or like? I actually don't know. Like okay. I don't know what's going on really with the group. I, I think they disbanded, right? You don't know. Did they? I don't know. I'm asking you. You were in the group. I don't know. <laughs> I know. You would know. <laughs> okay. I think they're I think they're still unless you know something I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're still together, but I don't think they've had a comeback like okay. in a minute. And what's with 
Ted Riley? Because like, there's so many talk with Rania, Ted Riley, and you. I mean, did you know Ted Riley first or? No, I met Teddy after. People thought that because they were like, you know, if he like started yeah. Rania and then like you're the no yeah, first yeah. black girl, and, you know, they kind of made a connection, but yeah. it actually wasn't like wow. that at all. Okay. Like I reached out to him after and I was like, hey, I'm in your group. <laughs> oh really? How did you reach out to him? What do you mean? Um, I think I just found him on Instagram and like shot him a message. Damn, you're like out there yeah nowadays it's like so much more easy to hustle because yeah. with social media i remember like when i was trying to get signed and i was a teenager and it was like how am i gonna get out of texas like true how am i gonna get anywhere mm -hmm. nowadays it's like you can find every head of every record label and harass them on their instagram mm -hmm. until they answer you that's a good idea I right do that you should, what was your relationship like with the girls Honestly, mm -hmm. it was um, it was very confusing. Like I said, right yeah. looking back, the communication wasn't as good as I even thought it was at a certain point. I thought that we were really on the same page. Over time, it became clear to me that just because of the communication issues, we weren't able to form the bond that mm -hmm. I kind of thought we were forming. Before I got into K-pop, I just felt like they were gonna be like just like my sisters, you mm -hmm. know? Like I don't want to be cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually really looking forward to it. I felt like it was just gonna be like a big sleepover, like you know, oh, hard work. But we were like we had each other type vibe. Yeah. There's such a difference in communication and just culture. Mm -hmm. I think it was very hard for them to understand like where I was coming from and for me to understand where they were coming from. You know, they've been training and practicing, yeah. but I thought that when I got there, just because I was kind and I I respected them and I was like humble that they that they had been working. Mm -hmm. I didn't really consider the fact all the attention that was thrown all of a sudden to me, mm -hmm. like all these newspaper things, like it was crazy. It was like literally mm -hmm. on every newspaper, everywhere in Korea, like yeah. first black idol, da, da 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 And so I think at that time, I didn't think of it like, hold on, they're seeing this for all they know. I could just be like diva status, mm -hmm. like, yeah, give me all the attention. Yeah. So for me, I just thought like, okay, because we're cool, I didn't think I needed to like overcompensate yeah. for that and be like trying to have conversations mm -hmm. about it. Like I thought it was like clear that like I respected the hierarchy in the group mm -hmm. and that I was the rookie and I didn't expect anything different. So they had a little bit of jealousy, I guess. Maybe. Mm -hmm. When I got there, it wasn't like I received not a warm welcome. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't like they were mean to me right off okay. the bat. If we had spoken the same language and had the same culture, they could have seen that that wasn't, yeah. that's not what I cared about. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, did that lead to some kind of bad fight or like racism or was there something? Not with the first group, not with okay. like the demonstrate cycle. With the demonstrate cycle, I actually feel like they were more welcoming and kind to me. But I think looking back, I can see how even though they weren't outwardly like mm -hmm. saying how they feel. I feel like looking back because we couldn't communicate, I think there was this like elephant in the room. Oh. Who's the girl who just showed up oh, out of nowhere, yeah. you know, after we've been working this whole time. What happened to the um, fire era? The start of fire era. So that's when the veteran girls had left. Wow. And that was actually really hard for me because at the time, again, I was so in the dark, I didn't know they were leaving. Like I did not know what the heck was happening. Mm -hmm. The next was, day, like, no one's here in your dorm room? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't live together. Oh. And I just remember, at practice there being a weird vibe and then I remembered like texting the leader the next day about some choreography and being like hey girl like I know we have tomorrow off like is there any way mm -hmm. we could get together because this was choreography they already yeah. learned and I didn't know it so and she didn't answer me I never heard from anybody ever again and I was like wow. oh they're gone and I was like devastated like mm -hmm. I felt like we were family you mm -hmm. know have you ever dated or flirted or exchange numbers with the male <laughs> idol or celebrity. Am I red? Yes. <laughs> totally red. Oh. oh, you're red. The short answer is yes. <laughs> Ooh, okay, how many times? Dated like like a real thing. Like, yeah. Well not well yeah. One. Really? Why are you looking at me like this? Because you didn't tell me. <laughs> no, I told you about the, the first time I got a number. number. Yeah. Okay, okay. Was that the same thing? No. no. That was different. Okay. This was right before Start a Fire. Okay. So this was like in the hole where the veterans left and we mm -hmm. were like in a rebuilding phase. Like we, we weren't doing, doing much, yeah. 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 Okay. It was just like practice and things. So I had like some time on my hands to kill. And at that time I was like very stressed. Wait, how did you get this number? Oh, so I got it during Demonstrate. <laughs> oh, okay. So it wasn't the person you talked about. <laughs> Who did I tell you about? <laughs> 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 This is a different okay. guy. This is same like during demonstrate, like when you go out and mm -hmm. you like you're waiting all backstage to go out for the awards. So I mean, he split the number. Mm -hmm. 
What, like he wrote it down the piece It of wasn't paper. a number, it was a cacao pop. Okay. Oh my god, like in a paper, a little paper. In paper. a little paper. And, and then, then like looked at his face wow. just to see who he was. Did so you was know? Like, oh shoot, I didn't know who he was. I kept it cool again. <laughs> Girl, you're ballin'. I wouldn't say the title boyfriend, mm -hmm. but we had like a very special, like, like I said, I was like in a stressed out place mm -hmm. and I was like really like not feeling good in where, Korea. Okay. Where did you guys meet? It's really funny because I felt like we were being all like incognito, but we went, there's like a park by the river, by Han River. Wow, wait, do you still keep in touch with them? Um, we haven't talked in a bit, but okay. yeah, like we touch base. Is that my phone? I'm never this popular. Oh, oh, maybe it's him. No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> it's not like that. Anymore. Oh my god. No, no, no. So it was really cute at first because okay. I feel like our communications were not communications. It was like laughing. Like all we did was like oh. smile and laugh and, and then like say stupid things like, You think I'm funny? I'm not funny. You're funny. And then after that, we got the um, the great idea the line. We mm -hmm. used to use line mm -hmm. and type in what we want to say and then it would translate. Oh. So, like, what happened? Did you guys just. Separate because you left Korea or like promotion started for him and then that was not a good time for mm. things But this went on for like a minute like this was going on for like we saw each other a lot yeah. It was just like we were really enjoying each oh. other and it was sweet and it was romantic mm -hmm. They still promoting you think or yeah, uh, you know the numbers that's like very damn They find popular. creative ways to like do that. What was one of the most creative ways? Well, I thought the first one with the bowing with the mm -hmm. exchanging of the CDs was really crazy Like we exchanged CDs he bowed and then I like we all out right mm -hmm. and he kept coming like closer and I was like, <laughs> like just kept, like bowing and then my like my teammates like looked at me like I was crazy because I didn't know I was supposed to hand the CD I didn't know what was yeah. going on so we're doing the bowing and then da, 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 I'm getting the CD and then under the CD like you know it's it's big right but then if he had his number <laughs> inside his CD what if like the manager took it away or some other would have been terrible but it wasn't in the CD it was mm -hmm. under the CD so it was actually riskier I feel because it could have dropped he wasn't the leader oh okay, so I was right. thinking why does he have the CD the group was protecting I think him. the group was protecting him because he usually the leader like that's why I had the CD I was handing it. Yeah, what did the other girls say? Were they like Ooh, Alex or like no, they didn't know they didn't know I would never like okay. no They didn't know the first wow. time I got a number. I was so naive I didn't know it was a problem and I showed my manager she took it and I was like give it back And she was like don't use it. And I was oh like my god. I was like, give it back. She's like you cannot She's like seriously you cannot like she was like really like serious with me like you cannot and I was like okay I won't Damn, like you guys saw each other multiple times and did it get awkward? Did he try to ask you? Oh, you, you mean like when we me? saw each other backstage? Yeah. No, 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 there was no follow-up. No, right. I mean like why would not he follow up? But you know, Where? like going to the bathroom, like he might have been like that. Or, like, when we go to the bathroom, our managers go with us. Wow, so there's no time to like no. one on one. The only time is when like you're standing, the group will be behind you and a group will be in front yeah. of you. And you're waiting and like sound check, camera check, all that mm -hmm. all day. And then like at the end of the day with the awards, like those are the times when you're like in the middle. Wow. So that's like if it's gonna go down, it's gonna go down mm -hmm. or in the cafeteria Like if you go get food mm -hmm. our managers always came with us But mm -hmm. they were like boy groups who would be without their managers. Yeah. So I feel like they could have made more stuff happen Like <laughs> oh, Alex, you could get me someone from that group <laughs> I should have passed your number. number. Friend, I know. I should have just given you the numbers I got. Maybe their numbers are the same. Oh mm. Same cacao call. Maybe your manager like contacted him? Low key, oh, she wow. was like in love with him. Because I was like, I was like, you know who he is? She was like, yes, I know who he is. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, yes. Yes, I love him. Yes. <laughs> crazy okay. times, crazy times. But was there any racism you faced in Korea? Like not so much on the um, stage, like mm -hmm. idol side. Outside, like I had a weird interaction with like a cab driver. Wow. And that was like, like he like kicked me out of the car. What? And I had been volunteering, it was Christmas. Yeah. And I and I got in the car. I told him in Korea and like where I was going. Yeah. He like turned around and like looked at me and was like, no, no, no. no. Like, no, 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 like and was like just like signaling to like get out yeah. And so I told him like no, no, I speak Korean so I thought maybe he was scared like yeah. you know He was gonna have to maybe speak English mm -hmm. So I was like no, no and he just like started yelling and like going crazy and I don't know what he was saying so He was screaming yeah. and yelling and I like just jumped out what? and then one of the guys who I'd been volunteering with was right there yeah. and He was like he was also like mixed and he was like yeah, like sometimes they're a little like racist like they don't like to Sorry that happened. It's okay. Wow. But I think like people, I think assumed that like I would deal with it in the industry. Yeah. But I was like super embraced by the Koreans. When we would perform, like they would go crazy when I would come out on stage. Aww. Like they were so nice. They would yeah. have signs for me and everything. So wow. I didn't experience weirdness at all from mm. like the fans or anything. From the one good thing and one tough thing about being a K-pop idol. Mm. There's a lot of good things. Just being able to look back and know that I like fully lived my dream. You know, like wow. I can physically like look back at stages that we did. And then the toughest thing I would say is just you don't 
don't really have control over yourself it feels mm. like a lot of times it feels like you are property of okay. you know the industry of mm. the company is that kind of like that in america as well no it's not so much like that in america okay. i think in america the artist has more power Ooh. in america like i was told over there it really hurt my feelings they were like the people who go into k-pop and who are idols is the people who weren't good enough to do anything else they said like it's for people who weren't smart enough to like have a real job what did you say what happened no, I, I really like, it was one of those moments where I just like was frozen. I had to process it. I was like, like, wait, is this guy serious? Is this guy serious, right? Yeah. Like, so all the people who have a dream, like all yeah. the people who are willing to like literally sacrifice time with their family, mm -hmm. you miss holidays, you miss everything. Like it's because you're passionate. It's yeah. not because we don't have the ability to do mm -hmm. anything else. Well, I was looking at your performances and I had a question. Why were you always just at your parts but didn't go through the whole choreography? Okay, that's, yeah, that's the million dollar question mm -hmm. because I can't honestly say I know. 100%. Oh, wow. Like during demonstrate, I was told that I came in last minute, which mm -hmm. I did. So I totally understood. And that was one of those times when I was like, I don't want to be the girl who comes in after they've been like working hard and suddenly they have to change their formations and their mm -hmm. choreography to accommodate me. But start a fire, you've been in that group, right? And bring yeah. the whole choreography. So that's when it gets confusing for me. Because mm -hmm. then af over time, it became like I was in the dark. I would be in America and asking when I'm coming back. And then when I would come back, it would be like late. And then they'd be like, it's too late. We can't fit you. And I'm like, what do you mean? Well, then why was I here? Like, yeah. what, what was I doing? Like, besides freaking out and panicking and wondering when I was allowed to come back. Like, oh my God. you know what I mean? Like, what am I like? Make me awe. I was on the mm -hmm. stage the full time and that was nice. Oh, you know? you're saying like that was nice because you were in the full thing. Yeah, it was oh really nice. Like I remember the first day we performed it, it was Valentine's Day and that's my favorite holiday. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time I was in the full choreo. So it felt like I was like fully part of the group. Mm -hmm. Why did you ultimately leave Rania? It's funny. I think people all think I got kicked out. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask. Yeah, I think everyone thinks I got kicked out, mm -hmm. but that's okay because I don't care. You know, like I did actually leave and it's because there was a point where everything had hit the fan in a big way like mm -hmm. things were so stressful I just felt like it wasn't a healthy situation for me anymore it became like why am I sacrificing my own happiness just mm -hmm. to prove that I could like yeah that I can handle it so I just wow. decided to walk away it was just like a series of things leading up and then okay. it was like you know what this is not a situation that is safe mm -hmm. for me like I can't be here and do you ever regret leaving no it was the right thing for sure like I definitely miss it like mm -hmm. I miss I mean, even the hard stuff I'm in. Would you ever join a group again? Of course, want to be in a girl group? <gasps> no. Like if we like made a group, like I was thinking like join a group, like make a group, bitch. Make oh, a Do you know anybody else who's talented? I'm sure we could find someone. Is it like a little project, like Korean American, like group? I'm yes, like, we should really do I'm it. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> what did you plan from now on? Ever since I left Korea, mm -hmm. I've been writing a book about my time in Korea. Ooh. It's so juicy. Oh my really? God, it's so juicy. Like, it's impossible to avoid the shock wow. value in this case. It's like every time I'm writing, I'm just like, whoa, like people are gonna be so blown mm -hmm. away by what it's really like behind the scenes. Uh, and then my health, I've had a lot of health stuff going mm -hmm. on. I have an EP that's ready to release. Ooh, when, when? Um, yeah, I don't know exactly. Okay. I know the single's coming out soon. Thank you so much for Thank having you for having me, yeah. I love you. Bye. Bye. Like, yeah, I tried to like do the same. You did like a wink. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs>